Hello everyone. Now we are going to discuss the development problem. And the first problem is of hexagonal prism. So the statement is like a hexagonal prism of base side 30 mm and axis length 60 mm is resting on HP on its base with two of its vertical faces perpendicular to VP. So this blue color statement indicates the position of the hexagonal prism where it is resting on its base on HP. So definitely the hexagon will be available uh, observed in a top view that is on HP. And it is kept like its vertical faces are perpendicular to VP. So accordingly, the hexagon is drawn over here. As vertical faces are perpendicular to VP, it means these base edges of the vertical faces are perpendicular to VP. So we draw the hexagon like this. So for that, we use we use the polygon command. We enter the number of side as six. We click on edge and then we draw the hexagon. Okay. Just open this ortho mode like this okay. and position the hexagon like this. Okay. So the height or length of this is given as 30. So in this way, we draw the hexagon over here. And as each corner of the hexagon represent two points, so we have given nomenclature accordingly. So base for base, we use one to six numbers. For top base, we use A to F numbers. Okay. So in this way, we completed its top view. Then we take the projections and we also completed its front view. So this one A edge is visible. And behind 1A, there is the edge 6F. Okay, so this one, this 6F. Okay, similar thing is there for 2B and 5E. So behind 2B, there is a 5E. Behind 3C, there is 4D. Okay, so like this, we completed the front view. Okay, we have given nomenclature. We have shown the distances. Now in red color, the cutting plane condition is given okay, over here in a statement. It is cut by a plane inclined at 50 degree to HP and perpendicular to VP and meets the axis of prism at a distance 10 mm. So in order to draw, draw this line, what we have to do first, we have to mark point at 10 mm distance. So for that, you can take a line command and you can draw a line of 10 mm distance. Okay, like this, you can draw a line at distance as 10, enter, and you can show that distance over here. Then mark a point. After marking point, you can delete this line. So this is a 10 mm point. And from this point, we have to pass the cutting plane, which makes an angle 50 degree with HP. So now open line command. You can click on this point and you can open. Just close this ortho mode and open dynamic mode. And you can travel like this. So here I am going to open line command and I just click over here. Okay. So now you can observe that we can get distance as well as the angle. Okay. So I can add any angle, any distance. Like I am going to add distance as 40 and press tab. And here the angle required is 50. Enter. So this is the line at 50 degree. You can measure this angle. So this angle is 50. If this angle is 50 with this line, then if I extend this line, then the angle of this line with X, Y will be again 50. So you can extend it. You can open this extend command and just click on this line. So you just delete this angle. There is no need to show angle over here. You can show angle over here. Okay. So this is the cutting plane. So you should use red color for cutting plane to show the dimensions as well as line as well as nomenclature. Now, each cutting plane cuts two edges. Okay. So each cutting point, okay. each point indicates two cutting points. Okay. So here we have two cutting points. Here again, we have two cutting points. Here also we have two cutting points. So accordingly, I have given nomenclature over here. So 1A, I use nomenclature as P cutting point P for 2B, cutting point Q, 
this this is not cut but this bc is cut cutting point is r for ed cutting point is s for age 5e cutting point t for 6f cutting point u now we have to develop it so the total length of development will be this 30 into number of ages okay so this number of ages are 6 so 30 to 180 so i open line command and i draw 180 mm line over here then the height of development is 60 so i draw a line of 60 mm then again i draw a line of 180 mm and this line of 60 mm then i selected this line and i use the divide command di just of this dynamic input okay so you have to select this line okay? and uh, you have to use divide command for it okay di vi de enter and enter number of select object so this object is selected then enter number of segments six enter okay? so you will get these points like this okay? so from here you can draw a perpendicular line and now give the nomenclature so this is age 1a this is age 2b 3c 4d 5e 6f 1a accordingly give the nomenclature now transfer the cutting points so on 1a we have cutting point p again this 1a we have cutting point p on 6f we have cutting point u okay so mark these points make this projector faint Similar thing, you can repeat it over here. You can draw the projector. From on 2B, we have cutting point Q, and on 5E, we have cutting point T. So you can mark point over here. Immediately give the nomenclature. Now you can see that this RES, we can't get this cutting point directly. So now we have to transfer this RES in a vertical, in a top view, because in top view, this ED. Okay, this ed we can observe the true length of the ed similarly we can observe true length of bc okay, so we can transfer this point res point r is on bc and point s is on ed okay, like this so you can draw the projector mark points use blue color for this so that we will realize from where we take these distances okay now measure the distance from e of this point s similarly measure distance of point r from b so this distance is 10 so it indicates r is at distance 10 from b when we travel from b to c similarly s is at distance 10 from e when we travel from e to b now we show these distances over here now r is at distance 10 when you travel from b to c so when you travel from B to C, R is at distance 10. So I open line command and I draw a line of 10 mm from this point B. Okay, and here I'm going to mark a point, then I delete this 10 mm line. Similar thing I repeat it over here. When you travel from E to D, yes, it's at distance 10. Okay. Now you can show this distance by blue color and this point by red color. Now make all other lines faint and Keep only these points lines dark, okay? Because these are the lines that are remained after cut, adding the cutting plane. Okay, so this 1A of from this age 1A, only one P part will remain, and this P A part will get removed. So this P A part should be faint. Similar thing is over here from A to R, this part is faint. Okay, Q to B part is faint. So for that you can make all lines faint and after that you can connect all these points okay, by using the red color line so this is the overall development of the hexagonal prism when the cutting plane is added as per the given condition okay thank you